as you can see, I have a I have a problem collecting wood. So this is uh, I have a three car garage. The two bays are my primary workshop, and this separate area is a area I use for sheet goods, cutting them in here or assembly, and generally storage of sheet goods. Lots of scraps, leftover pieces, and, uh, and most of it's good stuff, and it just keeps accumulating and accumulating and accumulating. It's all over, and I'm just going to have to start breaking it down and um, throwing pieces like this away. I have to realize that every time you build something, you're going to have leftover pieces. You know, right now, I don't want to throw this away because, well, I could make use of this or something. Um, if I throw this away, I'll have another piece like it in uh, not too long, period. I thought I'd show you a recent purchase I made from Blue Spruce Toolworks. This is their well-known mallet. This resin-infused maple. Beautiful. I've wanted one of these for a long time. Finally got it. And they're also known for their marking gauges. And this is an ebony version. There's a lot, lot you can find on the web about those two. But uh, here's a couple tools that I haven't seen much about on the web, so I thought I'd give you a closer look. So I've, uh, for some time now, I've wanted to have a, a nice shop knife, kind of a general purpose knife for, I don't know, cleaning up carvings, um, you know, anything where it's more free, freehand work versus precision uh, work. So uh, I saw this Sloyd knife on, um, on their website and decided to purchase it. It's beautiful. It has this, uh, some kind of a corrosion resistance finish on it, which gives it a nice look with this black uh, ferrule. And of course they use their, their uh, resin infused maple and it just feels beautiful in the hand. It's got a straight blade which should make it easier for sharpening. And as they say on the website, you, know, you can use it for opening boxes, for anything. I probably will, uh, won't be using it for opening boxes, but uh, just a general purpose shop knife. And uh, it was uh, 2016, it was uh, $95. I suspect it'll last me in my lifetime. Now the inspiration for the butt hinge that I bought from them were these Wood River butt chisels, which I did an earlier video on. Now I, I, again, I really liked the feel of these and the size and working with them. So, uh, but they're not very good for detail work because of how blunt the edges are. You really can't get into tight spaces. So I decided to. Um, buy a blue spruce version. So here is the blue spruce version of a butt chisel. This is an absolutely beautiful chisel. Uh, I, have, uh, I have a fair selection of nice, nice uh, contemporary chisels. And this by far is the best in terms of, I mean, I of course I love the butt chisel form factor. That's why I went with this specific version because it, it fits the hand beautifully. But uh, besides that, uh, the quality of the manufacturing is truly is better than any other chisel I have seen. Uh, just, just absolutely beautiful. Uh, Look how, you know, and this is a butt chisel. This is not, they actually sell dovetail chisels. But uh, hopefully you can see how, how the sides taper down to um, almost a sharp edge. I mean, it won't cut you, but it's, it's close. And, um, and again, it's, it's really refined, so it won't cut you. 
uh, just the lines, how beautifully it's put together with their logo. Um, the back, all I had to do was rub this on my uh, leather strop and I got a polish on it that I can see myself in. And again, Lee Nielsen, Veritas, they have beautiful chisels and they're, they're, they're flat, but they're not polished. And it takes a little bit more work to get a polished edge, and, but not on, not on these. So I just love this, beautiful. And I, I uh, cut some dovetails using this. I wanted to get a feel for how it worked and it worked just like I had hoped, so I am gonna. I'm not gonna buy the full set, but I'm probably gonna buy a, about four, at least four more sizes. I think this is the three eighths inch. And uh, again, the maple infused handle. And um, yeah, so it can take a beating. I haven't given it, given it a lot of beating, but I, I believe it's gonna last. And uh, this also was $95. So, of course, it's an investment to buy a set. And yeah, it's a short blade, and you think, well, boy, that's not going to last long. But uh, I don't, I never take my chisels to the grinding wheel. I just, you know, take them to my uh, diamond stones. And once I get them really sharp, don't even have to take them to the rough stage, you know, the rough stone to. Uh, sharpen them up so I think these will last me the rest of my life without uh, worrying about it getting down to here so uh, absolutely beautiful highly recommended before I go I thought I'd just show you a little closer view of the blade I really do like the lines of of this blade in the back and a little bit of the handle. Love that maple. Thanks for stopping by.